Okay. Welcome back. <laughs> I, I sounded ensu ensu enthusiastic, enthusiastic at first, and then I was like, "Ah, fuck it. I'm I'm really not." Okay. Well, how do I fix this stupid birthday thing? I thought. Whatever. I don't care. Uh oh. What do you want? I'm out of magic. Oh, fuck. You walked off, bitch. Even though I technically just did. I need more magic. I'll just get the, all the other all the other treasures later. I don't really care. I mean I do, but I just have to get the treasures later. You'll have a better view from higher up. Oh. Come on! Stop! Oh my god, Sora. Jump if you jump like a normal human being, this wouldn't be a problem. Cut his head off. The shadows should be here soon. Are you prepared for the worst? If not, too bad. I don't feel like the, the cat is tricky so much as... He just stating facts. He, she, whatever. Just stating facts. Like... Like, are you ready to fight the boss? Too bad, because he about to show up after this cutscene. Like, good shit. This will be easy, because I feel like we're too, like, leveled up. Nice heals, though. These are some sweet heals. Come on, Sora, Jesus Christ! J Sora, jump, you frickin' idiot! Why do you jump like that anyway? Jump and touch the ledge. Oh, God, fuck you, you're an idiot anyway. Stupid idiot kid jumping like a goddamn idiot monkey. Like, what the fuck? Like, how high can you really jump like that? What the fuck? Come on, like, dude, for one, you're way too tall, like, j like, uh, just chill and, uh, stop being so tall so we I can get this match over with. I'm out here doing work by myself! Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm just by myself, huh? Goofy and Donald just, just staring at him.
Nice. Ooh, what a racket. How's a doorknob to get any sleep? Y'all all in his mouth, like, chill. What was that? You hear that? It sounded like something closed. There it is. Fuck. Another navigation gummy. That makes two. Let's go show Sid what we found. Splendid, you're quite the hero. If you're looking for Alice, she's not here. She's gone. Off with the shadows into the darkness. No. Let's go back to our gummy ship. We might find her in another world. We've got to go to a save point to return to our ship. Yes, let's board the gummy ship. So, basically, I won't die during these boss fights, but I sure as hell will get real fucked up uh, with some normal-ass Heartless. Okay. Uh, there we go. I'm hoping uh, Sid will help me with my stupid-ass ship, other than doing this stupid drive thing. Anyway, basically with navigation gummies, you can go to new places, duh. You want one on your ship, right? I'll install it for ya. But I've got this thing I gotta go deliver first. What do you need to deliver? Just this book. It's real old. When the guy brought it in, it was practically falling apart. Too beat up to restore it to the way it was. But overall, I did a decent job putting it back together. Anyway, you mind delivering it for me? It's the old house past the third district. Look for a big fire sign. Merlin? What was that? Mm -hmm. The bell at the gizmo shop is ringing. Go check it out if you want, but deliver that book for me first. When you're done, stop by the house in the third district. I'll be there. So what, if I deliver this to what's his face, I'll get, I'll get a, I'll get a, uh, what's it called? What will I get? A summon? Now, here's the thing that I guess is kind of cool with, uh, this whole thing. It's, it's, I don't, I don't know how to really say it. The, the thing that's kind of cool with, um, why didn't I just leave the first district and then take the third district door? What the fuck? Anyway, um, the only thing that I was going to say is that, like, the only thing that's cool about, like, this town, I guess, is the fact, well, not the town, um, I was gonna talk about that, I was gonna talk about, like, the gameplay in here. The only thing that's pretty much cool is the fact that, you know, obviously, attack magic items, that's like your classic RPG actions, right? But you have, like, all this cartoony Disney shit that you're messing with. Whatever, right? But it's like, even with some summies, gummies and summons even with summons like the the thing that's interesting is like yeah you have your final fantasy rpg aspect that's added to it the only thing that just sucks is like there's nothing final fantasy about it except for the fact that what you're using an action that's usually in a final fantasy game so it's like, I get it, that's cool. It's cool that it blended, but the fact that, what, I can't summon a Final Fantasy thing, like, I, I don't understand the, uh, the appeal, basically. 
I mean, it was cool as a kid because all you really know is Disney. But when I grew up, I mean, hell, I knew both Disney and Final Fantasy, so... Regardless. I just think it would have been cool to really, really blend Final Fantasy and Disney instead of basically having this Final Fantasy-esque character travel through all these Disney worlds and then that's about it. I feel like they're kind of adding, they're kind of making Kingdom Hearts its own natural blend by adding these more characters after two, but it's like even in one, it was just a Final Fantasy character um, running through Disney stuff. And I felt like it wasn't really like a healthy blend. You saw a few Final Fantasy characters, but you can never really use them. They were never in your party. So it's like, what the fuck? Anyway, so Sid asked you to bring me this. Thank you. You wish to know what this, what kind of book it is? I don't even know myself. In fact, it's not mine. Somehow it found its way into my bag one day. It was such a curious book. I asked Sid to repair it for me. Well, I guess I'll put it here somewhere for now. This book holds a great secret. The missing pages will unlock it. Oh yeah, Winnie the Pooh. I'll leave the book over there. Do look at it whenever you like. I'll do it when I get all the pages. My best regards to Sid for repairing it for me. Oh, and about that stone of yours. You should ask the fairy godmother about that. I did ask her, but I guess I needed to do this first. Do you know what this is? Oh, the poor thing. He has turned into a summon gem. A summon gem. This little creature lived in a world that was consumed by darkness. When a world vanishes, so do its inhabitants. But this one had such a strong heart, he became a gem instead of vanishing with his world. Can he regain himself? Yes, but only his spirit. Now watch. That kind of sucks. Can you imagine your world being destroyed and then like... You don't even have a physical body anymore. You can only be... You can only help people when you're summoned. That sucks. Whenever you call, he will help you. And then it's like, his world didn't disappear because in Kingdom Hearts 2, after Sora's Awakening, you can be in Simba's world. Whatever. Sora, please help save them. Don't worry, I will. Stop nagging me, is what he wanted to say. Oh, I keep thinking the X button is jump. What's going on? He's scary. Riku! <laughs> hey, hey, cut it out. I'm not dreaming this time. Right? Why are you checking I him hope out? Not. It took forever to find you. Riku! Wait a second, where's Kyrie? Isn't she with you? Well, don't worry. I'm sure she made it off the island too. We're finally free. Hey, she might even be looking for us now. We'll all be together again soon. Don't worry. Just leave everything to me. I know this... Oh my god. Leave it to who? Sora, uh, what did you... I've been looking for you, and Kyrie too, with their help. Who are they? We visited so many places and worlds looking for you. Really? Well, what do you know? I never would have guessed. He's so oh, jealous. Guess what? Sora is the Keyblade Master. You didn't have to tell him that. What's that mean? So this is called a Keyblade? Huh? Hey, give it back. Catch. Whoa. Okay, so you're coming with us, right? We've got this awesome rocket. Wait till you see it. 
Go! He can't come. What? Forget us. Oh, come on. He's my friend. Beat his I ass. Don't care. Oh, he's gone. Riku? Nice going. Yeah, Donald. You oh, fuck. Well. At least he's okay. And who knows? Maybe we'll run into Kyrie soon, too. Here's the thing that annoyed me, is with that whole cutscene, I was like, oh shit, cool, like, Riku's, Riku's real, he's in Traverse Town, he can be, we, we're friends, he can be in my party, but no, like, obviously he's fucking jealous, and then Donald, Donald fucking ruined it, making it seem like he wasn't even allowed to, like, be on our team. So it's like, fuck you, Donald, because you, you made it worse, and then it's just, ugh. Ugh. Stupid Donald. Like, way to go, you idiot. Donald pisses me off. But yeah, I thought the game was gonna be like, oh yeah, now you can have Riku in your party and whatever, but nope. Sid had to go home, he lives in the third district. Oh shit. Don't you have to go see Sid? Bruh. You guys ever heard of Maleficent? I hear she's in town. Who is she? A witch. Man, she's a witch. She's the reason this town is full of Heartless. Don't take her lightly. She's been using the Heartless for years. We lost our world thanks to her. One day a swarm of Heartless took over our world. That was nine years ago. I got out of that mess and came here with these guys. That's awful. So that pretty much means... Well, according to this game, or what this game is trying to apply is like all the... The entire Final Fantasy world consists of these characters mostly that's kind of except Spiro right like Final Fantasy 10 so what 7 and 8 share the same world with 9 they would just be like different continents or something but no because even when you travel the world or whatever or all these different lands I don't know our ruler was a wise man named Ansem. He dedicated his life to studying the Heartless. His report should tell us how to get rid of the Heartless. Where's this report? We don't know. It got scattered when our world was, was destroyed. I'm sure Maleficent's got most of the pages. I don't care. Fix my ship. You see, it's just as I told you. While you toiled away trying to find your dear friend, he quite simply replaced you with some new companions. Evidently, now he values them far more than he does you. You're better off without that wretched boy. Now think no more of him and come with me. I'll help you find what you're searching for. Then Riku's an idiot. Bro, we spent 14 years together on Destiny Island, and you gonna let this bitch manipulate you? Lie to you? Man, you deserve it, idiot. So you delivered that book? That navigation gummy is installed and ready to go. You find another one, you bring it to me. I threw in a warp gummy for the heck of it. Thanks, bitch. Now you can jump to worlds you've been to before. Well, better get back to my real job. What's my real job? You'll see. See me at the first district. I've been thinking about the bell in the second district. 
That one that rang a bit ago? One above the gizmo shop. There's a legend about it, you know? But it's all boarded up. Nobody can get in there. Heck, go check it out. Ring it three times to see if anything happens. Okay, well, after I kill these Heartless, I'm going to go check the bell and probably get myself murdered by the boss of this town once I lock it. So, regardless, uh, that'll be the end for now. Take care, guys. Goofy, pick up the fucking money! Yeah. 